If you have a single member LLC and are wondering how to file your income taxes, in this video, I am going to explain to you exactly what you need to know to make sure you file your income taxes correctly. Many of you have started businesses and when you do, a lot of you start up a single member LLC. You've gone on to your Secretary of State website or you've hired some company to form an LLC for you and now it's tax time and you're wondering what is it that you need to do in order to make sure you're in tax compliance with your single member LLC. The first thing I wanna make sure of is that I explain to you what a single member LLC is. Because oftentimes what I've seen in practice, if people think they're in a single member LLC and they are not. So a single member LLC is when one person has formed an LLC and you are the sole member. You're the only person that is going to benefit from owning this LLC. You have not received any other income from anybody else that is going to help fund your business. None of your buddies or partners have given you money and they have an equity interest in your business. It's just solely you by yourself running your business. I think that's so important because what I have been seeing is a lot of people that have single member LLCs have received monies and startup money, seed money from friends helping them and they truly do have a multi-member LLC. So now that we're real clear that you have a single member LLC, what we like to call an SM, single member LLC, now I want to tell you what it looks like to file your income taxes. As a single member LLC, you are not going to have a separate tax form. You're actually going to include the tax form inside your individual income tax return. That's correct. Your individual income tax return, the 1040 form that you're going to file, you're going to include a Schedule C or a Schedule E, and I will come back to that, inside of your individual income tax return. That is because as a single member LLC, you automatically default to a sole proprietor business for income tax purposes. No, you're not a sole proprietor. Yes, you still are an LLC. You still are a limited liability company. You still have that asset protection, but for income tax purposes, you default to a Schedule C inside of your 1040 income tax return. When you have to file that Schedule C, I wanna make sure you understand exactly what you need to file that Schedule C accurately because this is going to be very important. The first thing that you're gonna need is to make sure that you account for all of your income. Now, many times when people are first starting these LLCs, you still may not have a business bank account open. You might be receiving monies through your personal account. It is gonna be really important that you track down all your income from all sources. And I want to make sure that you go back through your personal bank account and look for any monies that came into your personal bank account that were affiliated with your single member LLC. You want to also go through any other accounts like Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, any third party accounts that you have that are linked to your business. You want to make sure that if you have a single member LLC, that if you haven't done so already, that you set up that bank account under the name of your single member LLC. If you have that bank account open, you want to make sure you account for all the income that has gone into that bank account. That's really, really important to gather all the income so that we can start with the right number. 
The third thing that I want to make sure of is that you understand how to keep track of all of your expenses. Because even though you're a single member LLC, you're still deemed a business and businesses all have the same requirement to keep adequate books and records. So if you don't have your accounting already set up, you're going to need to account for all of your expenses. And I do mean all of your expenses from all sources, all the sources, your personal bank account, your credit card statement, any apps that you're using to pay for any type of service. You want to make sure you account for all of those expenses. And when you do account for all of those expenses, it's going to be very important that you categorize those expenses properly. When you look at a schedule C form, and I'm going to advise that you actually look at it before getting your taxes prepared, you're going to notice on that form that there are certain categories, certain boxes that IRS is looking for you to complete. I want to make sure that you complete all of the check boxes. That's going to be very important. You need to make certain that you put the proper information in the proper spot. So for example, they have advertising on that schedule C for a reason. They have car expenses listed on that schedule C for a reason. You want to make sure that you put your expenses in the right categories. That's going to be important. And if you really want to level up, you want to make sure that you have what's called a profit and loss form put together. That is going to show your gross income and all of your expenses. And that's what's going to be needed in order to complete that form inside of your personal income tax return, that Schedule C form. Now, remember I told you you would file a Schedule C or you would file a Schedule E? If you are using your single member LLC to hold real estate, you would then file a Schedule E. That's the residential rental property schedule. It's important that you list the name of your LLC on your Schedule E because you are doing business as a real estate investor. It's also important to note that if you are in a state that requires a separate filing for a state income tax return, like the state of California requires you to file a form 568. In addition to the 1040 that you're going to file the federal return with that Schedule C, you also need to file whatever form your state needs. California has the 568. Texas has the franchise forms. You want to make sure that you file all those appropriate forms so that you're in compliance all the way across the board. It's really important that you do that. In addition to making sure that you file the proper way with your business as a single member LLC, I want to go through some things that I want you to look out for things that I know people get in trouble with all the time. Many times what I see is that people that have single member LLCs will say to me, you know what, Carla, I didn't make any money in my LLC. I've had my LLC for two years and I never made any money. So I never filed. I want you to realize that when you create an LLC, it's like a baby being born. You got to take care of it from day one. That means that you have to file a tax return from day one. Even if you don't have any income to report, even if you don't have any expenses to report, you still have a filing requirement because when you went out and formed that LLC, now the secretary of state knows that you have a business and you want to keep that business in compliance by making sure that you properly file. The second thing I want to make sure of to keep you from getting into a slinky is that you need to make sure that you have applied for your federal identification number, your EIN number. Many of you form these LLCs, but you don't go to the next step and register it with the IRS to make sure you get the proper ID number, sort of like a social security number for individuals. It's the social security number for your business. And when you file your Schedule C, 
You want to make sure that that number shows up on your Schedule C inside of that individual tax return. Why is that important? That's important to make sure that your filing requirement is being met every single year. Many people were not able to take advantage of business loans. Many people were not able to take advantage of grants because they didn't meet the proper filing requirements since their business has been open. The other thing I want to make sure you avoid is thinking that you don't have to file a tax return for your single member LLC because you didn't make a profit. Many times people think, oh, I may have a thousand dollars worth of income, but my expenses were $5,000. So I didn't have any profit. So I don't need to file. Yes, you do need to file all the time from the date that you formed that entity is the date that you need to file. It's really important to make sure you do that. The other item I want to make sure that you're aware of is that you need to pay any minimum tax. If your state has a minimum tax, you need to make sure that it happens every year. And you need to make sure that every year you keep your entity in good standing with the secretary of state by filing your statement of information. Typically, for a limited liability company, a single member LLC, you need to file that statement of information every other year so that you are in compliance. I want you to know that the Secretary of State, for whatever state you're in, they regulate entities. So they have jurisdiction over your limited liability company to make sure that you are in compliance. It's really important that you do that. If you enjoyed this video, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. I can't wait to see you on the next video.